It's bright. It's bright. I was just gonna say it's kind of dark in here. Well, I'm just, I have, you can see I've got the sun like right on the side of my face. What's happening, everybody? It's uh, Tuesday morning, and we're just pulling up to check out some more stuff in the yesterday's fit space. Mm -hmm. I got uh, Vicky here with me again, the, uh, this time, this week. Are you excited? Woo! So, what what we're really excited. Yeah, you're, you, you're really selling it. Um, so, you know, last week I showed uh, that back space that had like some garbage bags filled with stuff. I think we're gonna, I'm gonna film us going through at least one of those. Mm -hmm. uh, we're gonna get, uh, we're gonna make Vicky get down and dirty in there. And uh, nobody said I'd be getting dirty. Uh, Have you met me? It's the stuff that needs to be laundered. So, did oh, you bring your gloves? Stuff. Did Ew. you bring your gloves? No. But I told you, you get to go wait through minute, it. I have gloves. Wait, wait. <laughs> um, I feel, I'm feeling very uncomfortable right now. What? Ha where did that come from? Just one? Glove compartment. Hmm. What do you even do with those? This is from when we went um, to the bins. Interesting. Pansy. Yep. Anyway, uh, so we're going to go through that. Oh, you got two. And uh, I'm not sharing. She's going to get first dibs on whatever comes out of those bags. So you should be pretty excited about that. Oh, she's scared. I'm a little She's frightened. Scared. Did you just say I'm a little frightened? Mm -hmm. What kind of word is that? I'm a little, <laughs> I'm a little frightened. <laughs> All right, let's go inside and see what's going on. I'm a little. <laughs> we are seriously digging in the dark in here. Uh, you know, they've got some some like like Christmas lights strung up out there to give us a little bit more light, but back here there's literally no um, lights, so we are going by the our phones. But there's uh, tons of great stuff. This is all almost entirely like starter jackets, like vintage 90s starter jackets. Um, uh, I'm gonna see what kind of deal we can do with those. Um, I also found uh, a couple of boxes of all these uh, Marlboro, like free with purchase type things. So obviously the cigarettes are not in them, but all like the free gifts are. So there's like hats, there's uh, cameras. Um, the athletics. There's a- Starter athletics. Uh, maybe I'll have to look at it in a minute. And then like over here, uh, a whole nother box of this stuff. So again, I don't know, yeah, I'm thinking Vicky's probably gonna wanna look at this and see if it's anything she wants, but like this is like a, a cooler bag. Um, but all this stuff is like brand new in the original boxes, uh, minus the cigarettes, of course. But can I talk about this crazy box that I just found? Yeah, let me get in there in a sec. I just opened up a box, guys. I'm gonna let Vicky pull out some of the stuff that's in there. All right, you go in there. <laughs> it is jam packed with what I could, from what I could see at the very top, dead stock, a bunch of stuff dead stock. But I want Vicky to look in there and tell me what she thinks. Uh, it's 90s vintage uh, Disney promo. Yep, promotional stuff. Like, let's see, let me see that hook on this. So if you look at, sorry, if you look at the tag on this, it says, to get this to focus. It's so dark in here. Um, anyway. Original Toy Story. Yep. It says Disney promotional products. You can see this tag is a 90s tag. I mean, this is just nuts. It might be the entire box. Let me see that one. Yeah, they're all different. Yeah, so we're gonna have to go through these, but what the? What the fudge? Some of these are the same. Yep. Yeah, we're definitely gonna have some digging to do here. Guts of Steel. All vintage Toy Story. Ridiculous. Okay, last week I showed you guys this room and said that that was where the bags of stuff that needed to be laundered were. Well, guess what, guys? I was so wrong. I was so wrong. I didn't even no, see this other room. <laughs> Jesse, what is happening in here? Um, a lot of nonsense, <laughs> a, lot, a lot of buying when we shouldn't have been. Oh, okay. Um, but all of this is laundry. It is, there is so, I mean, you can see, I mean, how tall are you, Jesse? I am six foot one. Look at how high these bags go and up. And there's a bag right here that's, is, I mean, that's as tall up as, as I am. And so, so I'm guessing there's some really good treasures in here, just stuff that was like stained and you yeah. just couldn't say no like, to it. Last week I pulled a 92 Rush tee out of this with like what? some Dodgers all over <laughs> print shirt. And so like, yeah, there's there's some good stuff in here. All right, so we're gonna pull uh, one of these bags out. I'm gonna film at least one of uh, uh, these bags and we're gonna have Vicky go through them, but we'll take them to the front where there's a little more light and we can see. 
All right, let's get started on this one. So this one has not been gone through since it was originally filled up. And it's just probably excited? a little smelly. Maybe a little smelly, who knows? Or a lot smelly. Or a lot smelly, yeah. We All got right. pacers. So, pacers, vintage, oh, vintage starter, jacket. starter. And I'm, nice. I'm not seeing anything right off the it's bat. It's not super but dirty. No, it it's probably, not actually. It's, it's actually, it feels a little grimy, so I'm betting Yeah, so it probably doesn't need to be washed. But, All right, that's one thing. Yep. Nike, Lakers. Lakers. Nike, it's probably Smaller. early 2000s. Yeah, not super old. Polo Ralph Lauren, nice little rugby shirt. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna come around the other side of you so it's not backlit. Let's see. Oh, nice. Little vintage polo uh, Ralph Lauren. Yeah. Little teddy bear. That's a cool bear, that's a good one. That's a good I think one. usually do polo shirts. Uh, polo is in the style, not the brand. Yeah, but he's cute. Uh, so it's have, definitely, it's definitely my shoulder worth baby. getting. He's got the cute bear. Oh, there you go. There's oh, another one. Yep. All right, I'm keeping this one. You're, this is what you're letting me open these for. I know. <laughs> you're getting first dibs. I'm aware. This is a kids. Yeah, I also don't do kids. I hope not. Kids Rude. Are gross. Little Chicago Bulls kids mm -hmm. thing. I'm gonna look too close to my face for dirty clothes. <laughs> you know how I am about the things touching my face. That's gonna be that's gonna be a Marlboro. Nah, I would say not really worth dealing with having to launder that. Yeah, that was a they sell, but they're they sell. Th they're Probably not like forty bucks or so. Yeah. Oh, this is nice. I like this brand, the Fox Sportif. <clears throat> there you go. That's cool. I like this. All right, one. cool. So there's a couple of things in there you're gonna get probably, right? Yep. And I'm thinking I want that uh, Pacers jacket. All right. All right, this is probably gonna be a lot of stuff that needs to be bleached, is what I'm guessing. Mm -hmm. Let's probably see what we so. got. Uh, yeah, that's peanuts. Yeah. I've got the little '90s Disney goofy mm -hmm. stripe. stripes. Death Row Records, Dr. Dre. This is a badass shirt. Yeah, and that one's made Mexico Vintage. U.S. fabric. Mm -hmm. so that's probably late '90s. Mm -hmm. You want this one? Uh, sure. Why don't you put that on my pile? It's a good shirt. Uh, vintage long sleeve Harley. Yeah. Not too vintage, actually. It's 2008. It's not vintage. Yeah, no. sync. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Baby, bye, bye, bye. <laughs> That's awesome. I mean, I don't even know how much they'll sell for. Probably. I have no idea. I know they're the dolls and that kind of crap don't sell anymore, so, but they used to. Let's Vintage Nike. Cool. Pass on that it's one for me. Trash, but it's probably sell, but it's, it's pretty it's trash. It's got some yellow stains. You know how the yellow stains are. Those are hard to get out. Even with the bleach soup. Is that on it? Moving on. Oh, Levi's. Nice. Vintage yeah. Levi's. Olympics. 84 Olympics Levi's. That's a cool shirt. It is. It's very faded. Has a bunch of stains. Probably be tough to get out. Um, you might want to go for that one. You're yeah, put that, that in my pile. Stains. I am good. And actually, I've gotten better and better with the white. Between the soup, between soup between mixture. my t-shirt soup and my bleach pens. Uh, vintage modern living. That's funny. This is terry cloth. <clears throat> oh boy. Oh, nice. Uh, vintage terry cloth. Polo, Polo Ralph, Lauren. Ralph Lauren track jacket. Yeah. Shorts. Some shorts. Yeah. Yeah, those are Meh. pretty janky. Got a towel. Oh, cool. What's oh, that? Ralph Lauren towel. What's the, what's the, what's the graphic on it? Nope. Oh, Certain that bear. is. You should That's get like that. That's the rarest towel for the, for the polar bear stuff. Is it really? You should get that. I'll put it in my pile. You know, I sell towels all the time. I don't know why. Who the hell buys towels and collects them? And especially like old. She sold sold like an old gecko towel that was just like all worn and faded. Faded and trashed. Forty five bucks to Hawaii. <laughs> like I know you have some of those there still. Like why are you why are you buying right, that? Why are you buying it? <laughs> Stussy. Uh huh. Susie's kind of gone away too. I think it's that a lot of the 
popular or common streetwear brands are just oversaturated because everything's yeah. oh everything's if it's Nike, it's Polo, it's Hilfiger, yeah. it's worth buying and worth selling, and that's where you get everything's oversaturated. Yeah. So vintage Nike. I think it's the cool stuff like the band shirts and the all over prints that when you find those. Well, band shirts are, are never going to go away. Those are always going to be good. I don't know what this is, but it's know. creepy looking. <laughs> what is it? Uh, he says chupacabra. It's supposed to be. Uh, it sucks all the blood out yep. of like, animals in Mexico. Chupacabra. All right then. Yeah. Ask, ask, ask the friend that speaks Mexican here. Yeah. <laughs> speaks Spanish. Um, all over. Jeff Gordon. That's cool. It's got some serious issues. It's, it's it needs to be. Dingy. Yeah, it's pretty dingy. But if that was in perfect condition, it would that'd be. That yeah, would go for some good money. I still sell that Jeff Gordon stuff for me. Oh, little kid, little baby something. Oh, how cute. Little, little baby guess. guess. And it doesn't have like drool up or drool or spit up stains on it, which is <laughs> rare on a size like that. Uh, what's this? Hey, hey, we're the monkeys. People say we're monkeying around. Vintage 98. I think if it were monkeys like from the 60s or the 70s, it'd be a different yeah, story. Yeah, probably. Oh, nice. Yankees, Taz. That was pretty cool. Not, well, it's all over the front, but not really around. Yeah. Looney Tunes. You want this one? Is it stained? It does not appear to be. Oh, maybe put that in my pile. I think that one's in good shape. All right, cool. Oh, the pits are stained a little, but I think you, you can get that clean. Okay. Pits are a little all right, sounds well. good. Do all this right. last one before we get to get back to work so that I can go through some I stuff. Some I see stuff. some Winnie the Pooh. Yep. Winnie the Pooh vintage sweatshirt. Oh, this one's pretty cool. Those... Yeah, that style though is a little meh. It's because of this. That's what that's what dates it. The little yep. um, the Asian characters on it. Yeah. Dates it to not cool is what I mean. Yeah. Charles Barkley. We Jersey. don't we don't know jerseys. I don't know jerseys. I mean, I know who Charles Barkley is, but yeah. And you gotta be super careful with NBA, uh, NBA jerseys and stuff because they actually are super diligent about going um, through eBay listings and they will get your shit pulled. If it's and you will, if it's fake. Yeah, NBA definitely does that. Um, Olympic, Adidas That's Olympic cool. track jacket. Okay. I think this is a jacket, oh, this is a cool jacket. I sold this uh, Big Pony Polo Ralph Lauren, kind of a lightweight yeah. jacket. I sold the shorts that look like this. Yeah, that one a little, feels a little dated too. That would have been good in about three or four years ago. Yeah. That would have been a real hot seller. Yeah, for sure. <clears throat> Champion, true. Yeah. Um, not vintage, but. Yeah, you can get those nice. new for a decent price. Can we get some? There you go. There's some uh, bootleg Gucci. Some. Mm. They never made anything like that. No, I know. I'm just saying. Yeah. It's a nice sloppy Robbie would have been all over that. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, well, that's cool. Is that real guess? It is, but it's so. not vintage. It's just a, it's pretty cool, a, though. a newer. That probably would sell all right. A newer all, the all over print, print. But it's really cool. Yeah. Um, CCM jersey. These are actually pretty good jerseys. These NHL jerseys. The CCM ones sell really well. Yeah. I just don't like doing jerseys, really. No, you don't really either. Uh, Looney Tunes. That's cool. Sylvester. The cat's meow. That's really cute. Yeah. Is this Beatles? Mm-hmm. That's like 90s. Mm. Yeah, it's made in the USA. Yeah. It's a 90s vintage Beatles t-shirt. Probably still something that was like sold at a department store or what have yeah. you. It's not like it's a tour shirt or, you know, from the 60s or 70s, but. Um, yep. So Nike sports. For the early 2000s. Shorts that look a little yellow. Somebody might have peed their, their swim trunks. There might be a little, a little pee there. <laughs> uh, gear, so. Treasure Island. Treasure Island at the Mirage. Gear for sports, is that what it was? Mm -hmm. Gear for sports. Yeah, me. Nike, like a soccer. Yeah. Long sleeve shirt. What's that? 
Illinois, like, Fighting Illinois, 1989. That's a cool one. That is a cool one. I might like that one. Yeah, we'll put that yeah, in your pile. Put that in my pile. I'll have to got, look at uh, inspect a little more for. The stains are inside the shirt. It looks. Oh, like. I could I have clean it up. I could clean that puppy up. All right, we almost done with this one. Almost. A couple more. Uh, another. Oh, Tommy Hilfiger. Spell out, not old. Nice uh, Penguins jersey. Yep. All right, Starter. cool. Oh, one more thing. It's actually a pretty cool one. That has a little spot on it, but not bad. And then, oh, some Tommy Girl bootleg. That's not made by Tommy. Oh, yeah. So, bootleg Tommy Girl. Definitely has some condition issues, I mean, yeah, though. You can, you can see, like, the quality. The quality of it's not good, and then it's on a um, all-style tag, so absolutely not All right. legit. That's it. All right. I'm going to get back to work. All right. I think, I don't know what time it is, but I think we were in there for a couple of hours. Two hours. Uh, we finally got, well, I've seen everything in there, except there's still a ton of bags of stuff that needs to be laundered in the very back, so I'm hoping probably next week... Oh, we'll get to look at for some of that stuff. Maybe you will as well. Um, but otherwise, I've been through everything in there. You've pretty much been through everything that you want. Um, we did end up with a crazy amount. This is my stack over here. I have a lot of jackets in there. That's what you ended up with. Mm -hmm. Some pretty uh, pretty awesome stuff. Um, so we we cleaned up. I think we did pretty good. Yeah, yeah. I think we spent about $1,000 between the two of us. Yeah, more than that. So um, Yeah, probably about 1000 But But... Um, yeah, I'm pretty happy with it. Um, I'm excited to see some more of that stuff in the bags in the back. But I'm done sourcing for the week on a Tuesday. <laughs> yeah, so we're, we're there will we're be over. no there will be no sourcing for yep. me this week. So yeah, so pretty Processing. much everything else that's in there is going to be um, uh, more organized and ready for the sale that we're going to be uh, co-hosting with these guys on next Tuesday, which is going to be December the third. So any of you that if you're local and you want to be involved or you want to come, make sure you contact uh, one of us and we will help you with that. We're not putting the we're not putting that information out um, other than in our group. Uh, but yeah, just amazing, amazing, amazing stuff. We're Good stuff. About it. And those of you that think that we might have cherry picked through everything, let me tell you, we could not possibly afford to purchase everything in here we want. We there's put back so, so much good stuff. Much. And there's so much stuff where I'm like, man, if I was out shopping and I came across this, I'd be excited about it. But there's literally so much in there. I had to put back so much of it. It's going to be awesome. Anybody that comes in here next week is going to be coming out with a ton of stuff. So it's pretty cool. There's not a single thing in there that will not sell for at least $30. No, no, not a single thing. So hey guys, make sure uh, I have linked down below yesterday's fits. I have their website, I have their Instagram. Make sure you follow them because uh, they are going to start doing reseller boxes regularly. Um, I know, you know, Vicky and I are both going to be going in there. Um, I'm definitely going to be going weekly to to pick up stuff um, to continue sourcing from them. But stuff, you know, there's there's so much of it that they're going to be doing regular reseller boxes. So make sure you're following them, and then we'll let you know when stuff comes available, and you'll be able to contact them to get your own reseller boxes. Um, but definitely be following them. They're they're cool kids and uh, in great business and. You should definitely be following them on Instagram and YouTube. Sure. Bye. Bye.